Hey guys, Chad House here. We're gonna go through four ingredients that reduce estrogen in men. Why do you wanna reduce estrogen? Well, if you look around at different products in your house, in your vehicle, watch, anything, they contain and typically contain chemical estrogen. So we can find chemical estrogens in our soaps, shampoos, deodorants, any cleaning products in plastics there's something called plastic leaching where if you use a plastic water bottle the amount of estrogen in that plastic water bottle is 30 percent higher than it is in a water bottle that is glass what we're seeing is a decline in testosterone so testosterone obviously helps you uh, with energy, ward off depression, helps you burn fat, build muscle, helps with libido. It basically helps you be a better version of yourself. Helps you take risks better. It helps you be a man. Whereas estrogen can make you more emotional. It can give you man boobs or bitch tits. It can thin your shoulders, give you more feminine features. It, it forces you to carry more body fat as actually est estrogen is stored in body fat in men. So you want to have estrogen naturally, but we don't need help with our estrogen levels and we're getting bombarded with chemical estrogens and there's a lot more research coming out about this. So what can you do about it? There's four ingredients that you can take. Now, full disclaimer, I have these four ingredients in Man Boost. Man Boost is the best natural estrogen blocker you could possibly have. It's a great testosterone booster as well. But the ingredients are very important because you're not going to get them from food at full amounts. So take the ingredients, whether you take them from Man Boost or not, whatever, but just make sure you have these ingredients. The first one is IC3, that's indole 3 carbonyl. So you find this in cruciferous vegetables. The problem with cruciferous vegetables is they have a lot of fiber and fiber has been shown to lower testosterone levels in men. You want some fiber obviously, but you don't want to go too crazy with it. So supplementing with IC3 is very beneficial. So one study that I'll put down below from Rockefeller University in New York found that supplementing with IC3 helped men remove chemical estrogens from the body and flush it out through the liver. So what they found was there was an increase in estrogen in the urine. So what that basically meant is it helped our bodies flush uh, chemical estrogen out through the liver. This is one of the few ingredients that can actually do this. It's completely natural. It's something you want to supplement with. Go to Amazon, get, get it on with Man Boost, but you want to supplement with IC3. It's one of the best ways to remove chemical estrogens from the body. Another study found that IC3 converts estrogen into a less potent form, so it's not going to have the same effect that it does uh, as the potent form of estrogen. It's not gonna increase body fat, reduce libido, and so forth. So IC3 is something that you definitely wanna supplement with. So next is resveratrol. Resveratrol is found in, the, in grape seeds, in the skin of grapes. It's very beneficial for testosterone, for increasing androgen receptors and for reducing estrogen. It's also been shown to be very beneficial for anti-aging. In one study they found that resveratrol blocks the process called aromatase. Aromatase is where we convert testosterone into estrogen. So it helps block that conversion. A lot of that happens in body fat. So again, you wanna lower body fat if you wanna reduce estrogen, but supplementing with resveratrol will help. Now, there is one form of, of resveratrol that you should supplement. It's in Man Boost. It's a little more expensive to supplement with, but the bioavailability of resveratrol, uh, you need about five grams to actually have the effect, but there is a form called resveratrol vesisorb that is 100 times more potent than conventional resveratrol. So that's the form you wanna supplement with. That's where you're gonna see the benefits, increasing androgen receptors, increasing testosterone, and blocking estrogen through the process of aromatase. So resveratrol is another very potent thing that you should supplement with. Now the next is zinc. So there's multiple forms of zinc in supplements. You're gonna see citrate oxide, but picolinate is the best form to supplement with. That's obviously what we have in Man Boost. Zinc picolinate is the most absorbable by the body. So zinc is one of the most potent and important micronutrients that you can supplement with to increase testosterone levels. It blocks aromatase, it also increases free testosterone, and it decreases testosterone. 
So it's especially important if you're active because zinc is expelled through sweat. So if you're very active, you wanna supplement with a little more zinc. So zinc also removes sex hormone binding globulin. That's that's the protein that's attached to tes testosterone, rendering, rendering it useless. By freeing it up, that increases free testosterone. Free testosterone is able to move throughout the body and do what testosterone does. So you really wanna supplement with zinc. A lot of research or some research says you only wanna supplement with it if you're at a deficiency, but the benefits are shown to help men with testosterone, whether you're at a deficiency or not. So I supplement with 15 to 30 mag, uh, milligrams of zinc a day. I suggest you do the same, especially if you're more active. So next is boron. Boron is a trace mineral that they say comes from cosmic dust. So it comes from outer space actually. So the Journal of Trace Elements and Biology found that 10 milligrams of boron increases free testosterone by 20, 28%, decreases estrogen by 39%, and increases DHT by 10%. Boron is one of the most, is one of the cheapest and most potent trace minerals, trace elements, uh, micronutrients that you can supplement with. It is very important to supplement with and you might as well supplement with, with it. It's not only going to uh, block estrogen by 39%, which is pretty incredible, but increase free testosterone and DHT. So boron is something that you should definitely add to your supplement routine. Now, when it comes to estrogen, obviously these supplements are going to help a lot, but you're also going to want to cut out body fat. You're not going to want to consume flax, soy, uh, mint, alfalfa, any of the estrogens that I'll mention down below in the in the description. And you want to get rid of chemical estrogens. So you want to drink your water through a glass water bottle, uh, get natural shampoos, soaps, deodorants, and so forth. But at the end of the day, you're not going to be able to remove everything. So supplementing with something like man boost here we actually use a glass bottle as well so you're not getting that plastic leaching of the estrogen going into the supplement supplement supplementing with something like man boost really helps you lower estrogen levels in a way that you're not going to be able to do unless you're going to live in the mountains and not have any plastics not have any chemicals around you which you're just not going to do so pick up man boost i'll put a link down below make sure you're taking these ingredients whether you take them from man boost or not they're very helpful for male testosterone levels and that's what you want to have at high levels uh, just to be a better, better version of yourself. All right, hope you enjoyed the video. Talk soon.